canoes all packed. We're just gonna set off here. Today we have a full day of continuous swifts and potentially some class one and class two rapids. So should be a fun day. All right, so we're on Stewart Lake right now, and we just made it through a couple kilometers of continuous swifts coming from Astor Lake. Uh, none of them were overly difficult. We only had to get out of the canoe once to kind of push over a shallow area. And other than that, we were able to run all of them. Uh, luckily, we've got the Coleman canoe, which we brought specifically for the reason that we can bounce it off some rocks and not have to worry about it. And uh, we're just gonna continue on here and see what else is ahead of us. So we're right in the middle of these class twos right now, which is all this stuff, apparently. And then there's a bump to the right, and then there's that like fish hook. Okay. So we should have a portage coming up just up here into this next section. All right, so we made it to the 140 meter portage that's marked on Kevin Callan's uh, map. And uh, we were hoping to be able to skip it because we've had some good luck with that so far, but the rapids looked maybe just a little too uh, intense. Not even just intense, but I don't think it would be possible to do them. It was just a bunch of shallow rock, so. We had to portage again, but it was actually one of the easier ones. We only really say that because it's shorter. <laughs> We're still bushwhacking quite a bit here, but you know, pushing our way through. We're thinking about having some shore lunch on the other side, so that should be good. So good. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's a really good view. Really, really good. So we're here, we just finished our portage. Decided that we were hungry. So we just did a couple of casts. Caught a slew of pickerel. Got three of them. Doesn't get better than this. I'll say it again. Many times, it's not better than this. You hear me say it again and again.
All right, so we just got to our uh, fifth site, and we'll be staying here for the night. And no, that was stupid. I don't even know where to begin. We start. We had awesome fishing at our lunch spot. Right after that, it started raining. We head down the river a little bit, and there's a moose. And then as we continued up the river, we got close to our site. And now we are here. And so we've got a nice beach site overlooking this beautiful rock face here. No one else on this bay. I don't think anyone else is <laughs> no one else on this loop. even remotely <laughs> close to us right now. Good tent pad right here. Yeah. I think so. Hear that? It's the sound of dehydrated chili. We are boiling our water to add to this, which keeps it very well. You can see it's literally like. Mm. Our chili is starting to take life again. Slowly being rehydrated. I think if we just wait a little longer, it'll, uh, it'll pump. <laughs> Losing the canoe, having it land on top of me, and then having you come down on top of everything because I just pulled you off this cliff ledge. Like, it was stuff that, uh, no matter how much reading we did coming into this, is not going to help us figure out uh, our way around. In, in the spots where we do catch, it's you're going to catch, like, an unlimited amount. Yesterday and today, pickerel. <laughs> right at the end of the rapids, both times. Hey, do you want to see me catch a pickerel? <laughs> Man, if we went to the swifts right there, we could pull out at least 10, I think. Not even boosting. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's like, I find like, if it's a small river, and it doesn't open up like this, like you're gonna get small pickerel, not as many. But when it's big like this, that they have a little more time to like, get larger mm. and stock up more there. Mm. That's my philosophy on pickerel, anyways. Fair enough. That's all right. All right, so it's day six. We just got up, it's about 7.30. Got the tent packed. Noah made us some oatmeal for breakfast this morning. Two pounds of oatmeal. T two pounds. So we're just gonna scarf that back and then we're gonna hit the, uh, the open river and just uh, see what kind of rapids we have against us today road coffees this morning. Unless this is us here. There's going to be some swifts at the end of the lake. Here and here. And we might have some class ones or twos. But then the problem is the, the rainbow falls is like right after that. Alright, so we'll see where we're at once we get there. Beautiful. 
another set coming down into this one. All right, we just got to the final portage before the Rainbow Falls. That's what we're looking at right now. We should go investigate. Is that leeches? <laughs> Those aren't leeches. What are they? Oh fuck, they might actually be. <laughs> How does that happen so fast? I don't know, man. There's a lot of them, though. <laughs> Snack them size. All right, so we're just getting here to camp number six. We're right next to a beautiful waterfall. And we found this site just off of the portage. It's about three quarters of the way along the portage back in the woods. And as you can see, definitely another site with lots of human activity, but kind of understandable considering the waterfall that is out there. So we maybe don't mind too much. <laughs> 